Here's an update on Tropical Storm Dorian, the fourth named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season. It's Monday, August 26th. I'm Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals. Dorian is in the central Atlantic. It'll move toward the Caribbean. You look at the satellite, and it's pretty obvious where the system is, but there are a couple of interesting features you should really focus on. First of all, west of Dorian, there's something bright. It's not dust. It's actually the reflection of the sun on Earth. It's called sun glint, and it travels around the Earth with the sun every day. Now, off the coast of Africa, something else a little more dramatic That large brown area, that's dust from the Sahara Desert. These type of dust plumes are very common in hurricane season. This one is large. It will not impact Dorian, but it may impede the development of any other systems, at least in that part of the Atlantic Ocean. The other feature in the Atlantic Ocean is a tropical disturbance, a strong one well to the east of the Carolinas. It does have a high chance of becoming either a tropical depression, tropical storm, or maybe a subtropical depression or a subtropical storm. Right now, it doesn't look like it's going to directly impact the U.S. aside from dangerous rip currents along the eastern seaboard. But folks in the northeast still need to keep an eye on it. So on to Dorian. Here's a forecast cone from the National Hurricane Center. The forecast cone shows where the center of the storm is likely to be in the next five days. The path itself is pretty certain. It's going to be northwestward, entering the Caribbean, heading northwestward through Puerto Rico, and then the Dominican Republic and Haiti, eventually the Turks and Caicos, and then the Bahamas. Look at the forecast status. It will likely become a hurricane, a Category 1, and the forecast status for wind is much more difficult than the forecast track. So this could vary. It's a storm like all that has to be watched carefully. The general trend is for it to strengthen and then weaken. Once we move toward Thursday and Friday, it'll be heading into warmer waters of the Bahamas. Now remember, that's just one factor in a tropical storm or hurricane. You also have to consider wind shear. The forecast for the actual wind, this is probability. In other words, where is it likely to be tropical storm force? Well, it's right in the middle of that area of lines, pretty much right along the track. So that part also fairly certain. In terms of hurricane force wind, because it's a fairly small storm right now and may just become a minimal hurricane, it's limited to an even smaller area. All of these are forecasts, and with computer models and data, the forecast will change and it will be updated. Stay updated through the week. I'm Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals. See more videos like this on my YouTube channel, Alan Seals Weather.